Hello, this is Lawrence Romanowski from the Distinctive Collection in Calgary, Canada, and uh, a shot from our uh, beautiful uh, showroom here. Uh, our thoughts are, uh, are now kind of getting to spring. We can see that uh, the sky is starting to get a little bit brighter. This is, uh, and speaking of spring, this is our first Aston Martin uh, V8 Vantage N420. And so a little bit of history on the N Aston Martins. Um, these would be uh, taken after the uh, racing cars, which uh, have uh, competed in the GT4 class in the uh, in the endurance racing, such as the uh, 24 Hours of Nurburgring and Spa, etc., etc. So um, in 06, one of the first things Aston did was they came out with uh, a race version of this car. Now GT4 isn't that different from a production car. They still have to run cats. They're allowed some. I believe some internal engine modifications, a roll cage, they delete the air conditioning, um, put in a stripped interior. But these, these cars were road registered. Um, so they were driven to the Nürburgring and uh, competed for 24 hours, which is a hell of a test of a car, um, and then driven home. And they were driven by none other than uh, the CEO, who's, uh, who's about 70, and his name is Ulrich Bez. So, that, that car, that race program for the Vantage really, I think, demonstrates more than anything the, um, the DNA of the, uh, of the current uh, Aston Martins. And, and a little bit on Al Ulrich Bez. Um, he was the guy in the early 90s who put the Porsche 911 back on the back burner when that company was uh, trying to decide um, what it should do with its, uh, with its air-cooled cars. And, uh, and whether it should switch to the water-cooled cars. So it was Ulrich Bez who had the idea to develop the uh, 911 concept further um, with the, uh, the last of the air-cooled engines, the 993, and uh, put that company on the map, uh, or back on the map, I should say, because it was looking pretty grim for Porsche in the, in the 90s. And so Ulrich Bez was a um, you know, fairly intense character, and uh, the Porsche, Porsche uh, company is uh, very political. I mean, there's two big families, the Porsches and the Pecks, uh, and Ferdinand Peck is the guy who, uh, who uh, you know, runs the Volkswagen Audi group right now. Very, very powerful figure in the automotive world. Anyway, so some, somehow he fell out with Porsche and then joined Aston, and so he is super competitive um, and is taking the fight to, uh, to Porsche on the racetrack competing with their 911 GT. GT4s, etc. So that's that's the history of the of the um, of the Vantage uh, N24 race car, and then you know they wanted to, to capitalize on that, and they came out with something called an N400 uh, road car um, in 07, and that had uh, a little bit of a bump in horsepower to 400, uh, and uh, its uh, suspension modifications and some and some. Uh, special wheels, tires, paint, etc., etc., and they didn't make very many of those. And then now um, they've come out with the uh, N420, which is uh, the same, basically the same uh, uh, concept, where they take the regular Vantage and they add a bunch of pieces to it, and uh, come out with a bit of a special car and limit it to uh, 420 um, uh, units. So, okay, so now we've got this uh, this uh, N420. It's about um, Twelve thousand dollars more than the uh, than the regular Vantage, um, and you get a bunch of extra equipment with that. And I'd say for somebody who wants to make their V8 Vantage a little bit racier, it's definitely uh, something worth looking at. So the first thing you get is you get these uh, black wheels, um, and that's right out of the V12 Vantage and the uh, carbon black uh, uh, versions of the V12 Vantage and the DBS. Um, you get these carbon fiber side strakes uh, from the carbon black edition. You get um, this carbon fiber chin spoiler. Um, you get uh, special sills, which the, um, and uh, it's unique to this car actually, a deeper sill. Um, you get, what else do you get with this car? You get the uh, clear tail lights, which uh, came from the DBS and now we're really popular on this car. And uh, there's a, a sports package, which is included. 
um, revised, uh, actually, and they're even revised, it's not, it's not just spring rates and damper rates, it's actually different components to give you more negative camber. There's a, there's a different lower A-arm which uh, pushes the uh, top of the wheel in <coughs> and, uh, and the bottom of the wheel out. And you can see it back to back with, an, with, a, with a regular car, but there's, for a road car there's quite a bit of negative camber in there. And then in the interior you get uh, DBS style seats, lightweight seats, <coughs> you get the carbon um, uh, Vantage N420 badge, um, you get the uh, Alcantara wheel which is really nice with the, uh, the, white, uh, the white stitch on top so you know what, what's the 12 o'clock position. Uh, and uh, what else do you get? I guess that's about it. But if you if you took a normal V8 Vantage <coughs> and you wanted to add wheels and you wanted to add an exhaust and you wanted to add carbon fiber and you wanted to add a sports package, um, that would cost probably something like twenty thousand dollars. So so if you're looking at uh, <coughs> making your uh, V8 Vantage a little bit more aggressive. Uh, then uh, you'd, you'd probably be best off just to start right from the factory and get uh, an N420 Aston Martin. Engine and transmission is the same. You can get the standard six-speed with a gear stick or the six-speed uh, paddle shift. Uh, either of those are available and it's available in the, um, <coughs> in the coupe or in the convertible. So the Aston Martin, um, in the Aston Martin, in Canada at least, You'll pay <coughs> 150 or 160 for a normal V8 coupe, and you'll add uh, 12,000 for a, for an N420, and then you'll add about another 30,000 for the for the V12 Vantage. So there's a there's a, a Vantage coupe, you know, from about uh, 150 to 200, and this one's kind of in the middle. Doesn't have the V12 engine, but otherwise it looks like the V12 Vantage, and it has a lot of the neat pieces on it. So so uh, and it's a little bit lighter on the front end. So uh, it's, a, it's an attractive package and it's a limited edition 420 uh, and uh, it looks great and uh, you know I think it's a I think it uh, should find a, find a definitely find a place in the uh, in the Aston Martin lineup that's uh, very popular. So there's our car we have one left it's for sale this one's about $170,000 it's uh, Lawrence Romanowski from the Distinctive Collection in Calgary Canada Thanks for looking at our car.